What were the best curly hair products of 2021? Well, I'm sharing my 2021 favorites from each category, both a drugstore and a high-end option. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Gina and here we make videos all about naturally curly hair. I really like simplifying things for beginners, talking about product ingredients and doing step-by-step -step tutorials for any skill level. So this is gonna be my favorites from the year and I decided to pick two products from each category, both a drugstore and a high-end option. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first category is going to be clarifying shampoos. So for my high-end option, I have the Curlsmith Wash and Scrub Detox Probiotic Clarifying Scrub. Now, there's quite a few Curlsmith products in this video only because it's one of my favorite brands and their products are just so awesome. I didn't even mean to select that many for this video, but they truly are the ones that I reach for the most. But this is their clarifying scrub. It's part of their scalp recipe. And the reason I went with this one is just because it has so many good ingredients for your scalp. So it's going to help improve the health of your scalp and your hair. It's also nice that it has these little micro beads. So you get a little bit of that exfoliation, which is really great at loosening up any dead skin and buildup. I just reach for this one the most. It's actually almost out. So that's how you know I really like it because I rarely finish hair products because I test out so many different products all the time, but this one's actually almost gone. I just used it the other day and it did a great job at even removing some products that were causing buildup on my hair. Then for a drugstore option, I have the Twist Hit Reset Light Clarifying Shampoo. I tried this over the summer and fell in love with it. I've been reaching for it all the time. This is definitely a more clarifying shampoo compared to the Curlsmith because this actually has ammonium laurel sulfate it also has cocamidopropyl betaine, which is a more mild sulfate. It doesn't leave my hair feeling stripped. Like I do still have to follow up with a conditioner, but this one's definitely more clarifying and it's more affordable. It just doesn't have that um, scrub like the other one does. So now for regular shampoos, so just shampoos that you could use more frequently, for the high-end option, I have the Curlsmith Core Strength Shampoo. This is a gentle shampoo that also has protein, but it's not gonna like cause protein overload or anything, but it does help strengthen the hair. I honestly struggled to decide on a high-end regular shampoo option because I actually use a lot of drugstore shampoos. I had a lot of drugstore options um, to pick from, but for high-end, I was kind of torn because I don't have any that blow me away by any means. But when I am looking for a high-end, just regular shampoo, this is typically the one that I'll reach for or their color vibrancy one. I also tend to reach for that one quite a bit. So this is great. It does remove product residue. Um, it's also strengthening, as I mentioned, so it's going to be good if you do struggle with breakage. It's not stripping or anything like that, so you could definitely use this one more than once a week. And then for my drugstore option, I have the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Curl Care Shampoo. So this one actually has ingredients that help remove hard water buildup. So I guess maybe you could consider this kind of clarifying, but it's still gentle and that you could use this once a week. I don't know that I would use it more than once a week, but it is good for just a once a week cleanse. So sometimes I'll rotate between like this one and then two weeks later, I'll use the Twist Hit Reset Clarifying Shampoo. So it just kind of depends on what I'm going for. It has rice and carotene amino acids, which is a very light form of protein. Um, so this is also a little bit strengthening as well. And as I mentioned, this does contain disodium EDTA. So it's a great ingredient. If you do have hard water, this will remove hard water buildup. So this is the one I would go with if you do have hard water in your home. And it gives a really great lather. All of these shampoos give a good lather. I don't really like shampoos that don't lather that much. I tend to always reach for a very foaming cleanser. So now for conditioner. Conditioner is one of those categories that I always struggle to really pick a favorite for because I don't really love Love conditioners like I always just use a deep conditioner um, but if I had to pick for the high-end option I would definitely go with this one from Curlsmith it's the postbiotic calming conditioner this is definitely the one in my shower that I use the most I really like how moisturizing it is it has hyaluronic acid which the whole scalp recipe line has and it's very moisturizing so really great if you have dry hair but I picked this one because it's super moisturizing without weighing down your hair so if you had fine hair you could definitely use this and this also has postbiotics, which are supposed to help balance out the scalp's microbiome to help protect it from scalp issues. So this does have peppermint oil. It's a little bit tingly. So sometimes I feel it kind of on my neck after rinsing it out. So if you don't like peppermint, and anything like that, then I wouldn't go for this one, but it's definitely one of my favorites. And then for my drugstore option, I have this one from Naughty. This is a newer one to me, but I definitely fell in love with it. It's the Frizz Magic Anti-Frizz Conditioner. I also really like the shampoo that comes with this. I almost featured it in this video, but I wanted to show you the Curl Talk one because it removes hard water. 
Um, but really like this line. Um, this is a newer option from Naughty. You can order this from their site and then also from Ulta. And I do have a Naughty code as well. I don't know that I've mentioned that before, but you can get 20% off Naughty products. I think the reason I like this one so much is because it's so slippery. Like it almost feels like it contains silicone, although it doesn't. Oh, by the way, none of these products contains silicone, wax, or um, sulfates as well, except for that twist shampoo. I think that might have a sulfate, but other than that, these are Curly Girl Method approved. So this conditioner from Naughty also contains a wheat bran extract. It has coconut oil, rosemary leaf extract. Um, it does have glycerin, which is great for moisturizing. So really great ingredients, but this one is just very slippery. So if you have very tangly hair, this is definitely a good option and I definitely do. So I tend to reach for this one quite a bit. So now for deep conditioners, I'm sure you all know the one I'm going to mention because I talk about this all the time. So if you've been following me, I'm sure you know I love this one from Briogeo. All the Briogeo deep conditioners are great. I almost pulled the Don't Despair Repair one, but I thought I would go with this one because I tend to reach for it more. This is the Briogeo Be Gentle, Be Kind Superfood Mask. This has avocado and kiwi. It says it gives mega moisture. It definitely does. This is a bright green color. So that's what it looks like. Briogeo products are pricey, but this has lasted me so long. Like this is the only tub that I've had and you can see there's still a ton of product. I like deep conditioners that are very thick and very softening. That's what I would say this one is the best at. So if your hair struggles with um, tangles or if you have very brittle hair, super dry hair, or if you have coarse hair, this is a super great option. No protein in that one either. Then I have the Not Your Mother's Curl Top Deep Conditioning Curl Mask. This is a really great drugstore deep conditioner. I always recommend this to people, especially friends and family. So this is also very softening. It has a superfood oil blend. So it has avocado, burriti, and marula oil. Um, so maybe my hair just likes avocado oil. I don't know, because that one also has it as well. So this one is protein free, even though it is part of the Curl Talk line, which has like the rice extracts, but this one is completely protein free. I don't have a protein deep conditioner here, but if I had to pick, um, I would definitely recommend the Briogeo one and also the Curl Smith Strength one, that multitasking conditioner. I wanted to include those in this video as well, but if I had to pick one, I would probably go with the Briogeo. So now for leave-in conditioners, I'm sorry, another Curl Smith product. I didn't mean to have this many Curl Smith products in this video, but they're truly one of my favorite brands. So this is the Scalp Recipe Weightless Air Dry Cream. Oh, I also really love the deep conditioner and the scalp recipe. I almost included that one as well. If you have fine hair, I would definitely go with that one because it's very lightweight, but super moisturizing. So again, same story with this one, very lightweight, but also extremely moisturizing. This actually is almost like a styling cream. Like it does leave a little bit of a, um, not a hold, but you can tell you have like a little bit of product in your hair with it, which is interesting because it's just a leave-in conditioner. Um, it has babasso seed oil, hyaluronic acid, dragon fruit pulp, um, silky castor oil, lots of really great ingredients in this as well. Um, and all the scalp recipe products don't cause buildup or anything like that on your scalp, so you can apply them all the way to the root. So this one is almost empty as well. I definitely reach for this one all the time. Then for the drugstore option, I really struggle to pick a drugstore leave-in conditioner and same with a drugstore cream. It's hard to find silicone-free creams from the drugstore, but this one is, this is the Giovanni Direct Leave-In Weightless Moisture Conditioner. So this is a leave-in conditioner. I picked this one just because I did get really great results when I used the Giovanni products and this one is very moisturizing. So it did a great job. Um, it just provides moisture. It doesn't like style or anything like that. Um, I don't reach for it a whole lot, but if I had to pick a drugstore leave-in, it probably would be this one. Then for curl creams, this was also super hard because there's a lot of high-end curl creams I really like. I love the Amica one. I just haven't used it in a while. Love all the Curl Smith creams, but I wanted to pick something that wasn't Curl Smith for this category. Um, and this is one of my favorites. This is from Bounce Curl. This is the Avocado and Rose Oil Clump and Define Cream. So this has medium moisture. I think it has pretty strong moisture, but it's not gonna weigh down your hair. Even people with fine hair can use this. I have barely put a dent in it, even though I feel like I've used it a ton. So this has avocado and rose oil. I feel like avocado is kind of a trend here. Maybe that's an ingredient my hair really likes. I never paid attention. It has satirial alcohol, which is super moisturizing. It has avocado oil. Uh, triglycerides, aloe, which my hair also really likes. This also contains a VPVA copolymer, which actually gives a little bit of hold. So if you're someone that just likes to use a cream styler and no gel, look for a cream that has copolymers or any type of polymer in it, because that's going to help give your curls a little bit of shape. So love this option. And then for the drugstore option, I picked this one from Heritage. This is the Ahead of the Curl Curl Cream. 
So I kind of struggled again to decide on a drugstore cream, but I went with this one because I got some really great results when I used this um, in another one of the gels that I'm gonna show you in a minute from the drugstore, but this is silicone free. Not all the heritage products are. Their leave-in is not, I believe, but this one is. This also contains protein. It has hydrolyzed jojoba protein, which my hair tends to like. Whenever I have proteins like that in my stylers, I always get great results and it gives me really good curl definition and it's strengthening. So I do really like this one, but I definitely think I probably get better like clumps with this higher end one, but that's a really great drugstore option. So the next category is gel. I love gel. It's definitely one of my favorite categories. I want you all to comment down below and tell me if you can guess what gel I'm going to mention here. If you're a true curl friend of mine, I'm sure you can guess what gel I'm probably going to say, and that is the We Dead Advanced Climate Control Heat and Humidity Gel, the Stronger Hold version. I struggled to decide on gel. I almost picked one of the Curlsmith ones, which I love their gels as well, but I decided to go with this one because this one lasts the longest in my hair throughout the week and it contains humidity blocking ingredients. So if I could only pick one gel, I would definitely go with one that contains polyquat ingredients that help with humidity because I can use those all year round, whereas um, like the Curlsmith Styling Souffle, love that one very much. The Styling Souffle works better for me in the fall and winter time. So anyways, that's why I decided to pick this one, although I love all of those gels as well. This one contains wheat amino acids, hydrolyzed wheat protein, which as I mentioned, my hair really likes that ingredient. I always get great results. It has several different polyquat ingredients, which are excellent at blocking out humidity and help holding the shape of your curls. It does contain glycerin, but when paired with those polyquat ingredients, it's not gonna cause frizz and humidity or anything like that. You have to get the stronger hold version though. I don't like the regular hold one. This one is definitely way better. It's just very slippery. I love the texture. I don't like gels that feel sticky or tangle up my hair and this one is a great option. So it's definitely an all-time favorite. I'm always featuring this one in videos. So for my drugstore option, this one is very similar. This is the Dove Amplified Textures Shine and Moisture Finishing Gel. This one is so similar and only a couple of dollars. <laughs> like it's amazing this is that great. This is actually silicone free, which a lot of the Dove products are not, but this is one of the few products that is. This one is very similar, a few less ingredients in it. It does contain polyquinternium tin, which is going to help with humidity. It also contains aloe, hydronated castor oil, glycerin. This does have shea butter and coconut oil in it, but it's surprisingly very lightweight, so it must just be a small amount. And I think that's also why it's very moisturizing. So when I use this, I get really great long lasting results. I almost picked the Kinky Curly Gel because I love that and always get great results, but this one had to win just because it does contain those humidity blocking ingredients. So, so I also wanted to add in a mousse product because this product is just so good, although I don't have a high-end favorite for mousse. I don't always reach for a mousse because I prefer gel, but I always get such great results when I use this. I'm always like, why don't I use it more? Because I always get really amazing results. So this is the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Curl Activating Mousse. This says it's a level two hold, but this this is definitely more like a four or even a five. Again, it contains polyquinternium, so it's going to help with humidity. So this is another one that I always recommend to beginners uh, because it's really great. It, I get such good like fullness in my hair whenever I use this amazing volume, really great long lasting volume. So if you have very fine hair and you struggle with volume, I would recommend the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Cream, and then this mousse. That's the combination that I used in that beginner wash day routine, and I got such good volume. Like, my curls looked amazing. That was definitely one of my favorite wash days. Got great results, so I wish that I used this more because it definitely is great. I think that's my second bottle that I've went through as well. So then for oils, I have two, which are actually kind of like a dupe for each other. Um, so the high-end option is the Curlsmith Bonding Oil. So this one is newer. This one came out towards the end of the year. I almost picked the Briogeo one, but I think I like this Curlsmith one better. I love that it's very strengthening and it's not too heavy or anything like that. Um, and this one's also more multi-purpose and you get more product in here compared to the Briogeo one. But I do really like this just because you can use this as not only like a pre-poo oil, but also as a finisher to scrunch out the crunch, to add shine and also just help like seal in moisture. So it's a really great all-purpose oil, which is why I chose it for this. Whereas the Briogeo one is also strengthening, but it's more of like just a finisher and you get a little bottle. And then this is like almost a dupe for it, but I still like the Curlsmith one better, but this is the Derma E Bonding 
Soothing Hair Repair Oil. So this is my drugstore option. Derma E is available at um, Ulta, really great prices. They always have sales as well on the Derma E website. I love their skincare, but they also have some really great hair care products as well. This says that it has bonding ingredients, but it doesn't have the same bonding ingredient as this. This one more so just has, it says chaga mushroom, jojoba, and alma oils. It says it helps like prevent breakage by softening the hair, but I don't know that it has like actual bonding ingredients, if that makes sense, but it's called bonding oil. One unique thing though about this Derma E oil is it's supposed to help with your hair's vibrancy. It contains ingredients in it that help restore like the vibrancy and the color of your hair, so that's really neat. So I do like this one. I haven't used it though as much as the Curl Smith one, but I needed a drugstore option and this was the best one that I've tried. So this is silicone free as well. So that is it for my yearly favorites. This was definitely hard to pick, but I would love to hear what your favorites are in each category or even if you just wanna tell me a couple of products that were your favorite this year, please let me know. I'm always open to testing some new products. And I know you guys are probably seeing this after Christmas, but I did wanna wish everyone happy holidays and happy new year. I have so many great videos planned for you coming up in January, so make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss those. And I did wanna just thank everyone so much for your support this year. It truly has been a game-changing year for not only my business, but my community here on YouTube, and it's just, it's just been amazing. I couldn't thank you all enough for the support and the love this year. It's definitely just been a memorable year for sure. So I'm gonna list all of these products in the description box down below if you're interested in getting any of them and any discount codes that I have as well. And if you are looking for more options of the best products out there for your hair type, I recommend checking out my top 10 series that is linked here on the screen. Check out that playlist for even more recommendations from both the drugstore and high-end options. So thank you all so much for watching and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye everyone.